In this video, we're going to show you how to use the TIPCC and NFT42 box. When using any bot commands, please use the bot commands channel. For basic information about the TIPCC bot, we can use the command dollar sign help. This will return, a, return to us a message within the Discord where we can see some of the basic commands. You can also check the balance of your TIPCC wallet by entering the command dollar sign BALS. This will show you the balance of the many tokens supported by TIPCC. You can also check the chart of coins here. Let's have a look at whale's chart by typing in the command dollar sign ticker whale. And here we see some of the basic information about the price of whale. We can also talk to the bots in direct message. This is handy if you don't want to tell the world how much you have in your wallet. You can use the same commands here, but you no longer need to use the dollar sign signifier. As you are in a chat with the bot, Discord doesn't need to know which bot you want to call. Now let's try a withdrawal. You can only use the withdraw command in a direct message with the bot. You cannot use this command in the bot commands channel. After we type withdraw whale, the bot will ask us which address we want to withdraw to. If you've seen the whale MetaMask video, you'll know that you can find your address by click clicking the MetaMask extension in your browser. When the window opens, you can move your mouse over to your account name and click it to copy your address. Once you have pasted this address into your direct message with TIPCC, you'll then be asked how much you want to withdraw. For this demonstration, we'll withdraw 13 whale. We're not too superstitious around here and we're confident that our whale will be safe and turn up in our external wallet. We are then asked to confirm the transaction. So check that you have the right withdrawal address, the right amount of whale to withdraw and check the gas cost. In this example, it's going to cost us an extra 0.7 whale to withdraw. This will vary depending on the current congestion on the Ethereum network. We're going to accept this cost for now and move our whale out from Discord, so we'll type yes. After a few minutes, we'll be able to check the transaction has been successful. The whale balance looks like it has increased. But to make sure, select the three dots here and open the menu and select view on Etherscan. The window that opens up is the blockchain record of your wallet address. Here we can see the previous transaction details which were made in the last video, where we sent the, where we sent the address 0.9 Ether and the 0.8 Ether used to purchase whale. To view all the whale tokens, we need to check the ERC20 token tab. And just as we expected, we can see our transaction from 17 and a half hours ago, where we swapped ETH for whale and the new entry, where we have received our lucky 13 whale from TIPCC. While we have our browser open, let's go to tipcc forward slash guides forward slash tipping. You can check this resource out in your own time to find out more about what you can do with tipcc, but mark it for later. It would be also useful to save official documentation for perusal later. So why not bookmark this depositing and withdrawing guide too? If we head back to Discord in DM with TIPCC, we'll demonstrate how to move tokens back here by typing in deposit whale. Be careful, however, as this address that you are given will change over time. So be sure to run this command every time you wish to deposit. Let's go over some important things to note. It costs gas to use the network. When the network is busy, gas costs more. Moving tokens within Discord itself doesn't cost gas. However, moving tokens in and out of Discord will cost you whales to cover the gas fees. The higher the ETH gas cost at the time, the higher the dollar value of whale that you'll pay in fees. So with this in mind, try to keep your transactions down to a minimum. There are websites and other resources that you can use to track the price of gas so that you can pick a low cost time to move your whale. It is, it is also important to note that the TIPCC wallet on Discord and your personal wallet are in no way reflective of each other. Even when you link your wallet, which we'll show you next, there is no relationship between Discord's TIPCC and your external personal custodial wallet. Lastly, the hold to play role rewards are given to you through your TIPCC wallet. If you plan on using these tips and rewards to maintain your role, you'll need to plan when you will transfer your whale in order to minimize fees. 
Let us now explore how to link your wallet and claim a role on the Whale Discord server. In the bot commands channel, type in exclamation mark, verify. The exclamation mark tells Discord that we want to talk to the NFT42 bot. After entering the command, you'll receive a direct message from the bot. You can see the new message has arrived on the top left of the screen. Click on the link provided in the bot message. This will take you to a browser page where you authorize the bot to access your Discord name so that the bot can link you to your wallet. After you click authorize, you'll be asked to connect your wallet. Next, you'll need to give authorization to use your wallet. Again, this is just allowing permission for your wallet to be now associated with your Discord account. Once you connect your wallet, sign the authorization. Head back to Discord by using bot commands, you can now claim your role. Type exclamation mark claim dolphin. Keep in mind these things when attempting to verify and claim a role. You'll need to be logged out of other Discord accounts if you have them. Complete the entire process in one sitting on one single machine, whether that be your desktop, phone or tablet. You'll need to have your DMs open to get the message from NFT42. If you use a phone to do this, you might need to copy the address from the browser that automatically opens up into the browser that you're using for your wallet. We know that MetaMask and Trust wallets work, but we haven't tested other wallets. You can try to use other wallets, but if you can't get them to work, Unfortunately, we won't be able to help you with support.